I didn't even know. I didn't know a train came through here. First time seeing it. Pretty close too. That must mean there's some freight in the area, huh? That's interesting. So while I was at freight lining yesterday, I picked up a brand new engine fan switch for the dash, you know. Real easy to install. Just need a uh, screwdriver for the panel one now. That's why I like the FLD 120s, 132s, classes, whatever you call them, because everything dealing with the dash, you just need a screwdriver. Replace the switch one that's brand new. I don't know if the switch working or not. So my engine fan. Um, I was at TA. TA was fixing all my lights for me. This was before, about a year or two back. They were fixing my lights, everything was working. And, uh, oh, I know what it was. I had them install my brand new fan belts on them. And they told me to turn my engine fan on. When I turned it on, it never turned off again when I flipped the switch back down. So uh, I don't know if the switch went out or if the, uh, shoot, I forgot the other part. It's a relay or something, something right in here. I'll figure it out later, but uh, I forgot what it was. What I'm saying is the easiest place to start is the switch. Now the ghetto way to do it is I can cut them fan belts and then I ain't got to worry about uh, the fan turning on at all. Okay, which is how I drove the truck the first year I hit it anyway. I didn't even have fan belts so, you know. That ain't good if you're climbing mountains because the, 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 <laughs> the fan ain't going to turn on to, to, to cool the engine. But we in wintertime right now and the, the truck don't go over 200 degrees anyway. It's old school. but. But I'm going to go ahead and replace this. I got this charging back here. It's at 12.1. I don't think it's going to work, but that's all good. Like I said, I ain't... That, that particular charger right there, that's for a car. The red one I used to have is for the semi-truck, but, but I got a question from a subscriber. I wrote a, I actually wrote a lot of questions down that y'all got. So I go ahead and answer them. No, my bad. This is not from a subscriber. This is from a video I seen on YouTube. Statement. It's more like a statement. Hey, Andrew. It wasn't directed to me, but that's just how I'm reading it. Hey, Andrew. How are you going to make it in this market with trailer note, truck note, sky high insurance, cargo, liability, physical damage, plates, pan uh, carrier 12%. Like the Russians, or 20% for the American companies. How are you going to make it? It's a good statement, good question. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, well, now you're talking to somebody with experience, so, you know, my answer is going to be a lot different. Number one, I got the title to the truck. That means I don't owe nobody nothing. There's no liens on it or anything like that. So, truck note is zero. Okay, second, there ain't no trailer behind here. You know why? They ain't got no trailer. So since I ain't got no trailer, oh, you got a barn one. Nope, nope. Maybe, maybe, a little bit, a little something like that, something like that. Making sure we ain't got no sparking going on. Uh, If I do power only, I don't have to pay for a trailer. If I got a load out trailer, that's going to be free. Uh, I can rent a trailer. I know some places I can rent a trailer. I'm not trying to rent nobody trailer, nothing like that. Power only is free. I, I like to stick with the free. So, so trailer note zero. But what about the sky high insurance, Andrew? Ain't you a new, new venture, new authority, new whatever they call it? Matter of fact, because you got an old truck, Andrew, your insurance is supposed to be higher than somebody with a new truck, like a Freightliner Cascadia with the camera and all the shoe shine attached to it, all the safety features, the airbag, curtain side airbag, and, and everything. So when the truck roll over, the driver stay alive. Oh well, you know. Um, In theory, in theory, uh, in theory that sounds good, but, you know, uh, when I told that to my insurance agent, you know, just trying to see if he, you know, trying to justify him making the price go high, he didn't know what I was talking about. He said, no, no, man, no, uh, no, insurance ain't changed like that, Andrew, no, the value of your truck is... It's way cheaper than 1997 Freightliner Classic. This right here, this. They said this right here is way cheaper to 
put insurance on than one of them brand new trucks where if you crash, we might not even give you a check. You know what I'm saying? Well, matter of fact, we ain't gonna give you no check because you ain't got no physical damage, so you low risk anyway. Yeah, if you crash, we ain't even gotta replace your truck, so we ain't even worried. So you, we not even, we, we just giving you liability. We, we gotta, you know, we just gotta worry about everybody else if you hit, but you ain't gonna hit nobody anyway. So, so, so yeah, you take the dirt cheap insurance policy. So, so how do you make it with dirt cheap insurance in today market? Insurance so cheap. You know, my insurance right now is 700 a month. I put about 1500 down, okay? The problem with me versus other people, the 700 a month for me, YouTube pays for. Me doing these videos over a course of a couple of years, I started, I, I didn't got paid from YouTube. I didn't got paid over $100,000 from YouTube. A lot of people want to know, Andrew, man, why don't you just delete your YouTube channel so you can make Mr. Charlie, you know, uh, feel better. If, if, if you ain't on YouTube, then you'll be able to keep these W-2 jobs. The problem with that is YouTube didn't pay me more than, than all the Mr. Charlies I didn't work for. Mr. Charlie ain't gave me no $100,000 yet, but YouTube have. As of right now, Mr. Charlie only gave me like, what, $30,000, $40,000? I'm talking about all the ones I worked with. Detmar Logistics, North Dakota, Fuel Holler, at the most about forty, fifty thousand. YouTube, hundred k. So, so it's kind of difficult. Uh, plus, YouTube is still paying. Fuel Holler ain't paying, and I can go up North Dakota, but I got to get up a year, and I don't even know if that's gonna last. Probably not. I, I wouldn't say it would. So, 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 no, I'm not gonna cut my business out for, for to make Mr. Charlie feel good, especially when I don't even care nothing about Mr. Charlie. Andrew, why you don't care about Mr. Charlie? Well, see. Guys, you gotta understand, I only seen Mr. Charlie one time. That's when he hired me. The other time I seen him after that was six months later when he fired me. So I seen the man twice. Same thing in North Dakota. When they hired me, I seen him on day one. And when they came up to me talking about YouTube, that was the second time I seen him. I never, so both times I only seen Mr. Charlie twice. Same thing at Denmark. When they hired me, I seen him. And when I bought the fifteen thousand dollar flat top, went in there asking that lease on. They said you bought that truck from from the competition in Davenport. I believe that's the name of. It. I said yeah, I got that truck that was down the road from the competition. Nah, you can't lease that on over here, fool. Matter of fact, you fired. Yeah, you fired. So so twice. So so so. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. You you it could be a good idea. It's a good idea for some people. Some people ain't even got social media to worry about, so, so, but for me, you know, uh, not a good idea. So, so YouTube pays for the insurance, okay? Therefore, I don't have to worry about it, okay? Now, now, what else was y'all asking me about? I don't expect the truck to start either. Uh, so Sky High Insurance, I don't have Sky High Insurance. Uh, I wouldn't sign no insurance policy past $10,000. And this is my third insurance policy. I, I wouldn't sign one past ten thousand dollars. That's just me, though. I don't know anything about twenty and thirty and forty, fifty thousand dollar insurance policies. Um, now I did have Progressive. My last renewal, because I started with Progressive when I first got into this game. Progressive gave me a dirt cheap insurance quote, ten thousand dollars. Then the second year when I got ready to renew, that's when uh, y'all know the economy got bad and. All the insurance providers went sky high. Progressive came back with like a $24,000 quote. Asked me, did I sign it? No, I didn't sign it, fool. Why would I sign it? Why would I pay double? You signed it. Yeah, you signed it. You signed it. Yeah, so I didn't sign it. I went over to my folks over there at uh, uh, Great West and got another $10,000 policy. And guess what? When I said, you know what? done with this pneumatic work everybody around me to take off I really don't want to do no power only all this cheap stuff I'm gonna go give me a company job that's what I did with Great West just dropped them just like just like that just dropped them and guess what everybody said hey Andrew man now you can't because you didn't you didn't do all this proper paperwork and you didn't correctly shut down the authority and you didn't go tell the FMCSA that you voluntarily dropping it and all this nonsense you never gonna be able to start your authority up again. And, and guess what I told you guys? I said, well, 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 Mr. Charlie fired me. I got them keys. 
I got these trucks and I got them titles and now I'm gonna call my insurance agent and like clockwork that damn authority gonna go right back active no matter what a truck driver is talking about so when Mr. Charlie fired me on Monday Tuesday hey uh yeah yeah he fired me yeah 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 go I'm I'm, I'm wiring the money right now 1500 down and on Tuesday we was back at the just like that the, the insurance they didn't say well wait a minute we, we got to ask all them people on YouTube if uh you know if uh they want to protest it FMCSA didn't say well wait a minute hold on Andrew now you put you, you got the insurance but but brother you didn't shut down your authority properly last time so 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 because you didn't shut down property we gonna need you to 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 to, to I, I don't know man sing the national anthem and, and jump up and down three times and get on your knees in bed matter of fact we need we need we need you to write you know an entire book a whole book on why we should regrant you your authority you know what the FMCSA said they said uh you get your insurance and you can have your authority back and it was that simple so 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 that's how I'm seeing you know. Uh, that's how this trucking world works. Trucking world don't care nothing about you. They just want the money. And if you got the money, you got some business, okay? So, so. Well, Andrew, what about cargo insurance? Okay, so when you're at the Russians, they be charged, they be busting your head $250 a week for cargo insurance. All that crap, that's, that's when you lease on the other companies. Uh, my cargo insurance is already included in the $700 a month, not a week, a month. I pay, I pay a month, so. Liability, that's already included. Physical damage, ain't got none, don't care nothing about it. You better have physical damage if you ain't got no title. See, when you own a truck, you don't have to have physical damage. Wait, Andrew, I didn't know that. Oh. When you own the truck, you don't have to have physical damage. It is cheap, though. Physical damage for this truck is about $117 a month. It is cheap. I'm not saying don't get it. I'm just saying don't get it through your authority because it may double the price that you paying per month. 700 a month, maybe 1400 a month just because you want some physical damage through the authority where well, you can go to True North and pay them 117 a month. Don't tell nobody I told you that. I, I ought to charge you for that. I just show you got no fire going on. So, 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 so I'm not saying that I'm an expert. I'm just saying I've been through all these different scenarios and maybe you can learn something. That's all I'm saying. Now, what else y'all talking about? Plates. Oh, Andrew, what about plates, man? Uh, $50 a week, $25 a week for life. Uh, well, you know, base plates under your authority is one price. They ain't breaking up the, the, the ain't no payment plan, ain't no breaking up the payments, ain't no 25 a week. They want the whole thing up front, point blank, period. $1,600. Either you got it or you don't. And if you don't got it, you better go ask American Express and Chase. Once you pay it, it's yours for a year. Yeah, you can take those same plates and lease on to 100 different companies with the same license plate. Just got to change the carrier responsibility over on the RRP side. Oh, how can you make it? Andrew, the, the, the carrier price of uh, freight rates is like $1.80. Two dollar two two ten. Can you make it with that, Andrew? Well, well, wait a minute, brother. Hold on. Slow down. Now freight. Dollar eighty two ten. Dollar fifty. Andrew, can you survive in these economic times with pulling this dirt cheap freight? Well, brother, when when you own the truck and you ain't got no trailer payment, there ain't no cargo and liability and physical. You're not dishing all this money out. You two paying your authority. Brother, I don't know. Mud flap, I got mud flap. The average cost of diesel on mud flap is $2.98. That's all in the south right in here from Texas all the way to North Carolina down to Florida on mud flap. See, I'm telling you where the fuel is at that cheap on the mud flap out. You go to the Play Store, Android Store, type in mud flap. There you go.
that ain't gonna charge nothing. I'm gonna take it off. So there you go, I just gave you a, a free plug and I ain't even charge you a dime. Mud flap. Don't cost, ain't no membership cost, ain't no you gotta put 300 down. Now, you do need some cash in your bank account. Cause after two days, they won't, they, 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 they gonna charge you for that fuel, okay? So you, you gotta, I, I run a cash operation, so you need a lot of this money up front. Insurance, down payment, you gotta have that up front. Like I said, I put 1500 down. Base plate, $1,600, okay? Uh, what else crap y'all need? Let me think, give me a second. Yeah, I'm back. $2,290. Mine was $412. They want the whole thing up front. You got to have a $2,290 before you can get base plates. So so all this money, you got to have in your bank account. So right off the top, if you just want to know how much money I done spent in one week, let me run the numbers down again. $1,600. Base plate. $1,500 insurance down payment. $412, $2290. Don't forget the fuel pump in my car went out. That was another $500 paid cash money. Are, are you adding that up? Because I don't know what that equals. You, you're supposed to add that up. Sound like it's over $3,000, though. BOC3. Now, I already got that in place. But if you got a new authority, you're going to have to get that. Uh, lease agreement. If the truck ain't in your name, well, if the truck is in your name, you got to lease the truck. You, the owner, being the owner, you got to lease the truck over to whatever the motor carrier is. In, in my case, I had to lease it over to CAJ Logistics because they're the carrier that's going to be responsible for the base plate. So, um, Oh, and truck maintenance. Okay, here's another thing. So so I just told you how much money I done spent already just this week. You still got truck maintenance. All breakdowns that happen out there on the road, you responsible for. You you, you blow an engine, that's your fault. You blow a transmission, that's your fault. You need a tow truck, that's your fault. You got to take responsibility for everything. Okay, now the difference that I'm going to have over you is that I'm nine years in the game, three years with, a, with my own authority, so I've been doing it, been knowing what to do, and I done done it for multiple people, so it's a little bit different for me. Okay, am I saying I want to do it? Nope, but I don't plan on going too far. You will not catch me going across no I-80 in Wyoming during the wintertime. Why? Unless you got $10 a mile. If you got $10 a mile, if you got ten dollars a mile, we, we can make anything work. Nah, for ten dollars a mile, all my trucks go in and which direction? We can go to Canada for ten. Canada, Mexico, Tijuana. We ain't really. We can get down deep off in there for ten dollars a mile. That's all I'm saying. So if you got ten dollars for some pneumatic work, uh, we go all over. We tried to go to Canada for ten dollars a mile, really up fourteen dollars a mile, but I couldn't figure out how to get to Canada, the Canadian Authority. That was way too difficult for me to figure out. I was trying out watching YouTube videos, man, the customer paying us direct freight, dedicated freight, but after about a month, <laughs> I gave up, man. I, I just couldn't get the Canadian Authority, so that was a good dedicated, super high paying load, well, loads with an S that I hear. I hear the whole lane, but I needed that Canadian Authority and, you know, uh, at the time, I, I looked into OIDA, I looked into uh, a bunch of other people I had Googled to see, you know, maybe I could hire somebody to give me this Canadian authority, but it just never came about, so, you know, I just ended up scratching that all together. Plus, the people that I needed that was uh, riding with me, they would have had to hire their Canadian authority, too, so it, it just wasn't going to work out. But what I was going to do is... I was gonna have everybody else go get loaded. I was me my me myself. I was gonna have them drop their trailer up at the border up there in Detroit, Michigan. And I was gonna take their trailer over and do the loading. I mean, not the loading, the unloading. And you know, that's how I was gonna do it. And just charge. I wasn't gonna, you know, they are. I give majority of the money to the people anyway. So I probably just gonna charge them a small fee for unloading their trailer, maybe five percent, something cheap, you know. Dow Jones is up. Somebody let Big War know that yesterday the Dow Jones hit an all-time high. You in the stock market, SLPG, SPLG, FTC, 401ks, RAs. All-time high, baby.
Now that we got that out the way, what's gonna happen to your uh, 401k, Andrew? I got $3,800 in the 401k. I messaged them folks over there on my 401 k play, and they told me I could leave it in now. And it'll grow over time with the amount of shares I already got in now, which I got Vanguard, uh, total stock market, um, ETF. I forgot to talk. I keep forgetting the actual name, but I can leave it in now, or I can roll it over to my RRA account, which I control. Um, I'm probably gonna roll it over to the Roth RRA account only if. I can withdraw the money out of that Vanguard ETF and put it in what I want it to be in. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna let me do all that, but if I can do that, if I can do that, I'm gonna do that. Cause, 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 you know, some, 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 some stocks that I really just had that in long term. Cause it's for long term anyway. So, oh, uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, the headlight. Y'all said those just some bulbs. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Change the bulbs over there. As far as the uh, little airbag back there, uh, get get a bottle jack, jack up the truck, change it out with a flat head, got you covered. Um, oh, DAT lower board, fifty dollars a month. Who pays for that? YouTube. So so seven hundred plus fifty. That's seven fifty. YouTube covers all that. Uh, so 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 Andrew. So what's your expenses? Fuel. That's it fuel and it's only maintenance when I want to spend some money like right now how I'm spending well I guess I got to spend the money I got to get the power steering fluid but but I control everything okay so so I could have stole the fuel got some junkies over there on Fane Street could have just I just I could have just paid them about ten dollars they went in and got about a hundred bottles walked out and put it in the back of my truck that's all I'm saying don't don't you go to Fane Street either I know how y'all are We'll change that engine fan switch here in a second while I'm here. Anything else I want to tell y'all on this specific video that y'all can perhaps learn something. Um, oh, one thing you do need to know, I'm still applying for jobs too, just so y'all know. So, so as far as the authority age goes, well, Andrew, nobody's, listen brother, Nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, Andrew, is going to work with you because you got a brand new authority. I mean, yeah, it's three years, four years, five years old. Yeah, you got your DOT number in, in 2018. All that, but, but, but listen to me, Andrew. Only TQL and only a, a CH Robinson. That's it. That's all you can work with, especially your first 30 days in business. Oh, and if you got some shippers, well, well, all the shippers will work with you, Andrew. But 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 you ain't got no shippers right now. So so. But, but what I'm saying, though, Andrew. Who wants to haul some TQL? Well, what is TQL paying? I had to go, that's why I got DAT low. I'm like, what is TQL even playing? Then when I saw what they were paying, I was like, well, well, well look here. A dollar eighty all the way up to three dollars a mile. Well, well, brother, that works for me. Because my only cost is fuel. And fuel is two ninety what what I say, two ninety five? Go check Motherflap, go see for yourself. First of all, in order to put fuel in here, I need a load anyway. I gotta have a load to get fuel. Don't you realize every load that I take is gonna be profit? And less the load pay, less than how much fuel I put in the tanks, every load is profit. It may not be uh, the profit that I want or you want or we all want, but it, every load is profit for me. See, I don't have to take three free loads for free. The first three loads I take it for the week of free. Then that fourth load I run, that's when I that 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 money goes to me because the first load that's my truck load, the second load that's trailing cargo, then the third load that's that's ELD fees and IFTA fees and bobtail fees and uh, we don't even know what a lot of cash advance fees and and just just a ton of fees, just all fees out to twenty percent to the carrier twelve. Hey. Even I had to start there. Okay, it's not easy to get to this point right here. It's not easy. It's not easy to just roll, roll around with the cheapest one of the cheapest engines of all time to do some maintenance on. We ain't got nothing but a terrible air compressor starter and a bunch of gears. You get the latest greatest suit shine. You got crap all over the place. You got fits. 
it's just crap all over the place. That's so sad they made this 12.7 Detroit CC Series engine. You know what else is sadder? This ain't the original engine. This engine right here only got a half a million miles. That's even sadder. That's why when I bought the truck, I ain't done nothing to the engine. That's so sad. That's so sad. But, but, it, but, <coughs> it could blow any day. It, 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 our engine is an engine. It could blow any day. So, you yeah, know, but, um, thing about me, when I blow my truck, I ain't just call the junkyard, have them tore it away. Give me $500, tore it away. Let's go jump in the next truck. I just Uber to the nearest airport. I got a broker trade wins. What if you got a TQL trailer? I know for a fact, TQL will put that load on the load board on the side of the state and come get their trailer. Or they'll send one of y'all to come get it. Yeah, yeah. I, I know how they do because they did it to me before. And I ain't even, I never had a load repowered. That's all I'm saying. So, so I know. I know. I'm just making noise, y'all. Is somebody cutting grass? Why y'all tell me somebody was cutting grass? I'm going to get off this video and continue making the rest of what I was saying before I start this separate clip.